Tonight, hundreds of people gathered in Santee to remember the victims of Monday's deadly plane crash. Good evening. Thank you for joining us on the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella has the night off. The candlelight vigil was near the site where the twin engine Cessna slammed into a UPS truck when two home uh, then into two homes. Inside the truck was Steve Kruger, a UPS employee of 30 years. He died at the scene. News 8's LaMonica Peters was at tonight's vigil where the community honored a man they knew and loved. The people who gathered here tonight say they just wanted to show respect for a man who dedicated his life to serving their community. Kruger's family and co-workers also talked about how much the support means to them. I just want to say thank you to everybody for uh, the UPSers across the nation. Steve Kruger's co-worker Robert Moreno spoke at Thursday night's vigil, remembering how dedicated Kruger was to his job. Most of us go to work because we have to. Steve came to work because he wanted to. Um, he could have retired, but he loved his neighborhood. He loved his customers. He loved his job, as you can see. Hundreds of people stood at the corner of Jeremy and Mast in Santee, holding candles and standing together to support Kruger's family and those impacted by Monday's plane crash. All the affection and the overwhelming response from all of you have made this much easier to deal with. Um, I mean, Steve would uh, not want anybody to be upset or sad about his passing. Kruger's brother also told the crowd how much Steve loved his life, the work he did, and how he always told stories about the people he'd meet while at work. He used to come to our house every week. I just talked to him last week, and he was talking about retirement. We were talking about him going to Mammoth. He bought a house. And as soon as I heard what happened, I says, it was him. And it was. During the vigil, Santee's mayor encouraged everyone to introduce themselves to one another because as long as the community remains united, they can get through this tough situation.